What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit videos like Morks because I went live last Sunday two days ago and everyone has been requesting because I do I'm doing some live lessons on my YouTube channel every Sunday well not every Sunday but just now and then and then people have been requesting like can you please make a video how to edit like Morse you know that youtuber with I think two and a half million subscribers and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what he does with all the like if subscribe if you're new and the thumbs icon you always use so make sure to smash that like button down below already and I would say let's get started <laughs> Alrighty folks, we are in Vegas Pro and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I re well, how I created that intro and I'm going to recreate that one in this tutorial. So make sure you just smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see, this is our clip of the intro, just raw and uncut, not even used a single cut. And what we're going to do first of all to spice up the video is we're going to add a little bit of brightness and contrast. So we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we're going to, you know, pick my preset. I'm going to apply it on it and as you can see, boom. It is quite a nice difference. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is now that we have a, a nice spiced up video, I'm gonna right click on the on the on the video properties. I'm gonna uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample. That's a very important thing. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a nice transition. So we're gonna go to transitions. We're gonna pick a slide. I'm gonna pick this guy, drag it in the beginning of the clip, and we're gonna make a nice whoosh transition like this. That one looks really cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a whoosh sound effect you can just find on YouTube, which is going to be uh, this one. What's happening guys? What's happening guys? We're gonna... gonna make it a little bit earlier. What's happening guys? What's happening guys? What's happening guys? So that looks really cool and let's move on to the next thing. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit videos like Morks because I went live. I'm gonna cut away this silence part, that's obvious. So we have a nice jump cut effect. And live last Sunday, two days ago, and everyone has been requesting because I do, I'm do. i doing some live lessons on my YouTube channel every Sunday, well not every Sunday, but just now and then. Just cut away the silent part again, like so. Just now and then, and then people have been requesting like, can you please make a video how to edit like Morse, you know, that YouTuber with I think two and a half million subscribers, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what he does. Okay, so what he also does, what Morks does, is he makes a little pop-up with like, subscribe if you're new. So I just found that one on Google, and I'm going to drag that guy in, which is this one, as you can see. Uh, it's a very low quality uh, image, but once but once we resize it, we won't you won't notice it at all. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to make it pop up around right here works because I went but what we need to do is we're gonna make it slide into the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the event pen crop then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this icon is set to move to Y only we're gonna drag this outside of the screen like this then we're gonna make a little well we're gonna put our marker right here so we will so we will create a keyframe we're gonna then we're gonna click on restore and as you can see now it pops up because I because I went because I so now in order to actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit slower though, because so you will actually see the slide transition. Let's put it like this. So that one looks really cool and we're gonna resize it a little bit until it is in the corner at the bottom. So we go to the track motion icon of the track. We're gonna just resize it a little bit and we're gonna place it around right here. So let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. Because I went live. So that looks really cool as you can see. But, he, but what he also does is when this uh, subscribe if you're new uh, image is popping up, he also has a little ping sound effect. So we're going to also drag that in. You can find all the effects on YouTube, guys, so you can actually start using it. So this is the ping uh, sound effect. Because I went, because I... And we're going to make that guy appear when it stops uh, zooming, well, sliding. Because I went, because I went live. So that looks really, really cool. I went live last Sunday, two days ago, and everyone has been requesting because I do, I'm do. i doing some live lessons on my YouTube channel. So that one is pretty, pretty solid. But what I'm going to also add in some music when the video starts. So I'm going to just drag in some non-copyrighted NCS music. It's going to be the song that we're going to use. Last Sunday, two days ago. And so we're going to drag that to the beginning and it's going to play when the music kicks in. 
when the video kicks in. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex. But it's really, too, it's way too loud, so we're gonna drag the volume down. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial. And in this what's happening, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial. And in this video, because I went live last Sunday, two days ago, and everyone has been requesting because I do, I'm doing some live lessons. Okay, that is really, really cool. And the last thing that he does in his intros um, is the little thumbs icon that I use as well for a pretty long time. So you can also find the, just the thumbs animation on YouTube. I'm going to drag that in real quick. So as you can see, this is the thumbs up effect. I'm going to create a new video track though. So it's nice and big and then as you can see this is going to be the animation so what we're going to do in order to remove the green part is we're going to go to video effects we're going to pick chroma key drag the default one on top of the thumbs animation click on this bar then what we're going to do is pick this pencil icon and we're going to pick the green color obviously then we're going to activate uh, the chroma key and as you guys can see we have now a nice animated thumbs effect well every sun well not every sunday also just go ahead and right click properties uncheck maintain aspect ratio also disable the resample and that's how awesome it looks just know and then and then people have been requesting like okay and i'm gonna time that when i'm saying gonna say smash the like button okay sunday with thumbs i can you always use so make sure to smash that like button i'm low ready and make sure to smash that like button. make sure to smash that like button i'm low ready and i would say let's get started okay so that is basically what he does guys he makes a nice slide in with a sound effect, he has the su subscribe if you're new with a sound effect. As I went, and also he has a thumbs effect into his videos. So this is how to edit videos like Morks. I know this is just the intro and stuff, but he just usually cuts and you know, and he uses some basic transitions. So that's it for the video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more about what he does, make sure to let me know, and I will make a part two. That's not a problem. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.